So cityscape pictures are one of my favorite kinds of pictures, especially shot at night. Today I want to show you how you can achieve that kind of look and just kind of go completely different than what you usually probably are doing with your cityscape pictures. So this is Skyline of Hong Kong that I took a few months ago and what I'm gonna do just for the start to make it look kind of more interesting is just bring down the highlights, retrieve all of this detail, bring up the whites quite a bit and also bring down the shadows. This is kind of a key aspect of this look is just making everything dark, dramatic, contrasty and also very important you want to bring up the clarity by quite a bit to really bring out you know all of this light and texture and stuff. What I found it works really well if you have a more kind of coolish color to the whole picture rather than a very warm one. I'm just gonna leave that here and actually go down into the HSL tool where the magic or the actual effect happens. So what you want to do is just bring down the greens, bring down the blues, bring down the aqua, purple, magenta, everything except for the reds, oranges and yellows. So now what you have is just the oranges and the reds and the yellows in this picture. And what you actually want to do to even exemplify that more is bring up the saturation of all of them. So your sliders look like plus 100 for three of these and then minus 100 for the rest. However, you want to have a little bit of blues in the rest of the picture as well, because right now it just looks like a very kind of boring selective color shot. It doesn't look bad, but I just want to have a little bit of other colors in there as well. So one way I'm going to do that is by actually going back into the blues of the HSL tool and just bring in a little bit in there. And I'm going to do the same with the purple and magenta. So now there's just a hint of color in this whole picture and you can do that as much as you want. However, I'm gonna bring, or I'm gonna leave all of the green colors at minus 100 still. Then because it's more orangey and yellowish than really red, what I wanna do is grab this little pinpointer next to the hue and actually go over the yellow or orange color and go into the minus with that. You can also do it manually with the slider and I'm going to bring that much more towards the red tones. It's much more red, it's much more distinctive and my goal here is to have kind of a mixture between reds, oranges and yellows. So I'm just kind of going to play around with the hues. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time but I think that looks actually pretty good. Then another thing you can do is to make them even brighter is just bring up the luminance of the reds, oranges and yellows. You have to be kind of careful here not to go too far but another thing that you can also do is go down into the calibration and just make the primary color sliders adjust a bit and as you can see as i move around this it will just change the whole picture a little bit um, you can even go into the blues and change the blue tones that are actually left into a blue tone that works better with the overall picture and another thing that i should actually do is grab a graduated filter over the top because the top is a lot brighter and here I'm just gonna go into the minus blacks, add a lot of contrast. And it's a very contrasty, cool picture in my opinion, but you can see it's, it's very unique and you've probably not seen too many pictures that look just like that because it's not really just select color. It's a bunch of colors muted and then just a little bit of blues and a ton of red. And that is one of the things that you can do with this is make a picture look very contrasty, very dark, very dramatic. Whereas with normal color, it would just look completely weird and over the top. And I actually wanna show you this uh, kind of effect in a different picture, also a cityscape of Hong Kong in a different place. And again, it's just minus highlights, bringing up the whites, bring down the shadows, blacks, bringing uh, the contrast actually to the right, increasing the clarity, and then going to the HSL tool, bringing down everything except for the yellows, oranges, and reds. So just like that, here I'm even gonna, yeah, I'm also gonna bring out up all of these three remaining sliders by 100. You could even go more into it by bringing up the vibrance here in the, in the basics adjustments but it might be almost a little bit over the top, so I'm just gonna leave them at zero. And again, I'm gonna grab this little pinpointer in the hue, make a more kind of reddish distinct. And here my goal is again to have like a mixture between red tones and orange tones and yellow tones, which I think, uh, I think it looks just really cool. As a last thing, I'm just gonna bring up the blues a little bit, bring up maybe even the aqua color 
and to purples and magenta. Really the main thing here is that you don't want to go too far. And that is pretty much it. It's super, super simple to do. Um, maybe I would even go into the graduated filter again for the top because it's so bright and just kind of make it more contrasty and punchy. And I want to show you as a very last, like in the last minute here, how it will look like if just everything would be at normal saturation. It would just look weird over the top. And you can certainly make it look if you edit it um, right, but I just think that's a really cool look. And it just looks like from some, I don't know, Batman movie, or it just looks really cool. And if you like Lightroom and editing, you can check out my presets, which I've just released. There are 25 presets that are completely new and you can edit your cityscapes, your landscapes, your sunsets in a very unique and fast way. And um, yeah, check them out if you want to. But that's been it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next quick edit.